Good morning, it is Friday, 5.45 in the morning. I do not feel like getting up, but I've been there before I go to work and I've been trying to work out three days a week at home, so just for like 20 minutes. So we're gonna do that and then you're going to get ready with me. Let's go. <sighs> Okay, workout's done. Let's hop in the shower. My light's buzzing out. Let's go get ready. Okay, so normally to start off, I use this Curology face moisturizer. Okay. Whew. Okay, so I normally get ready in about 10 minutes or an hour. So today is one of those days where it's gonna have to be 15 minutes because I have to go in 15 minutes. <laughs> and I also have days where I go to work with no makeup on, and then other days where I go to work with like full face of makeup on. Actually, no, not full face, that's weird. Again, I am not a makeup artist by any means. This is not one of those fancy videos. This is more of a getting ready quick, how to look presentable fast for work. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put on my favorite concealer. Oh, this is one of my favorites. It goes on pretty thick, but it looks really nice. And I'm not gonna lie, normally I sit on my counter while I do my makeup, but I don't have a stand for us to both be sitting on the counter. And now, I don't use brushes, I'm not a fan of brushes, so if using my hands to put my makeup on is gonna gross you out, sorry. Then, for face makeup, I normally do this, this Fit Me Matte Poreless, or, and or, sometimes I mix, this Dream, this Dream Matte Mousse. Today, let's try the mousse. I like it because it's light and I really don't feel it on my skin at all. Well, so okay, it is January. In school, we are just about to give out progress reports. Progress reports go out Monday. Of course, they let us know yesterday. <laughs> So I gotta get that done this weekend, even though I really don't like to work on weekends. I do not, I almost refuse to bring home work on weekends, unless it is progress reports or report cards. So that's the only exception, as it should be. And even then it should be ahead of time. So, yes. And this year, one of my big goals is leaving on time, okay? I show up about 10, 15 minutes early, but really that's about it. Okay, here's my eyeliner. Oh, and if you've seen my nails, you see that they are sparkly. And I did not do those myself, nor did I go get that done. That is Color Street. So, so I actually tried Color Street nails, and I really like them. This is the second week that I've had them on. They're holding up pretty well. Around the cuticle, okay, I cannot talk into eyeliner, sorry. Okay, around the cuticle, they're like not. The cuticle and the tips, they're not holding up the best. But at the same time, that's pretty good for two weeks. If I get my nails done, it's gonna be about the same. Okay, so this weekend, I'm gonna get some new color straight. Actually, my friend Steph gave me like five different sets, so I'm gonna try a new set. But I'm nervous to do the solid color because I feel like you're gonna tell if I put them on wrong or mess up. But the glitter ones, you can't tell as much. Sorry, my brain is all over the place, so. Sorry, my brain is all over the place. Here's my mascara. This is my favorite. I've tried a couple different mascaras and I always end up coming back to this one. And if I want them extra voluptuous, I, or volumin, voluminous, I actually use this one first. Excuse the fact that it's a mess and I'm holding this really weird, but there's no other way to hold it. So voluminous, I'll put this on first so I really want that kaboom. But we're just going to work, so I'm just going to use my last, my lash sensational. Let's see if I can do this without making a weird face. 
Okay, so definitely the goal this year, like I said, was to leave on time, which my contract time is 3.10 this year because we are going in at 7.40 instead of 7.45. The extra five minutes because the kids are coming in in the morning, 7.45, to have breakfast. So we gotta be there five minutes before they are. And then I'm ugh, sweaty. And honestly, at first, I didn't know if I would like having to have breakfast in class before, but I love it. I think that it's time for like us to bond and I actually normally don't eat breakfast or I eat my little protein bar at their recess time. But I want to eat my protein bar and drink my coffee while they're eating their breakfast and it kind of makes us feel more of like a little family. We have family breakfast instead of family dinners. And I think the kids really like it. We play music and we just talk about life and anything, you know? And then at eight, Oh, 05, then we actually start diving into school. If they're not done eating, I let them finish. But then by like 8.15, 8.20, I'm like, all right guys, like pack it up. You guys can eat it at recess or even like a little bit later during class. But the first part of our day, we always do reading and writing. So you don't got extra hands to be <laughs> snacking on stuff. And we are hybrid right now and I am loving hybrid. I have six students a day, which I do wish it was more. I really should have about 13, I think, if it was going to be exactly half my class. So that's a major bummer there, but at the same time, I am so stoked with the six a day that I have. And it is one group of six for Monday, Tuesday, and a different group of six Thursday, Friday. I asked if I can combine them so they can all come every day, and they said no because it's not equitable, and they really only like to use the word equitable when it's on their turn. So this one wasn't on their terms, I guess. But it's super cute because my hybrid kids have a totally new appreciation for school, as I think all kids will after this whole mess is over. And that's something that we haven't had in a long time. So I think that would be really cool. I think it kind of gives everyone a new appreciation for where they're at in their life, what they have, you know? And that, we kind of needed that little reminder. Granted, shh, not in this way. It would have been nice, just like a normal, not so whatever way, but but here we are. So, um, okay, moving on. Oh, I missed. Uh, this is just, honestly, this is my usual. This is my usual. Oh, I will. I will. Where are you? I will use blush. So I actually got this dirty <laughs> blush from the, oh, what's that called? The little, the little, Ipsy. So I actually got Ipsy for a couple months to try it out and I actually got this bag. Uh, it's okay. And then my favorite one is this marble. I really like that, it's a little dirty right now, but love that one. So the bags I like most of all, but by the third bag, the stuff that I was getting was like, I feel like I have a Cricut and I can make this right now. So wasn't a fan, but I do like the sparkly. So this was, this was one of the samples that I got in the Ipsy bag and I really like it. It's about the only thing though, um, the bags and then there was maybe one product I liked in each one. So even though it was like 12 bucks or something like that, it really wasn't worth it for me. So I canceled. Um, I've also tried the Cause box subscription box. <laughs> this video, we're talking about everything here and jumping quick. So yeah, like I said, I tried Ipsy, I tried Cause box. I want to try FabFitFun, but haven't yet because uh, all the things that come out, I haven't really seen something that's like, ooh, yeah, I actually like a couple things in there because I don't want to get a box just if I like one thing. So that's, that's not, no. Um, but yeah, so thinking about it, I don't know. What do you guys think? What's your guys' favorite subscription box? Comment down below because I'm always looking to try some because who doesn't like the feeling? Because who doesn't like the feeling of Christmas? Okay, uh, random Revlon lipstick here. It is this spicy cinnamon and we're just kind of going because I don't want to go off in literally one minute. But yeah, okay, on Fridays we wear red because red is our school colors. So, there it is, one second. Okay, um, and I always have the habit of wearing red on Thursdays and then come Friday I don't have a red outfit. So, that's exactly what I did the last three weeks. So I have this red shirt, I'm not sold on it though. 
Okay, so this is makeup, and now we're gonna do hair. I did want to curl my hair, however, we do not have time for that today, because that's my alarm pretty much to leave. So I'm gonna blow dry this, maybe straighten it, probably not, and then yeah, okay. For my hair, I use this BB Dresser, BB Dresser's Invisible Oil, it's a heat EV protective primer, and I just spray it on. Oh. Deodorant. And yes, I use men's deodorant because I think it smells good. I don't get it on my clothes. I'm dropping everything. Okay. But yeah, I think it smells good. I don't get it on my clothes. So, I like men. And antiperspirant freaks me out. I don't, don't like antiperspirant. And men's deodorant tends to not have that. All right. Okay, also, because I know some of you are going to ask, these shorts, uh, I'm gonna fix them a little bit. These are definitely home shorts, not gym shorts, even though they place them as gym shorts. But they are from Shein, and those blue, as my boyfriend likes to call them, mermaid leggings are also from Shein, and I love those. They're scrunch butt, I don't know if you can really tell, but they're scrunch butt, but they're so thick, and with the color of them, I don't feel like it's just like booty in your face, you know? I feel like it's a little more subtle, not so attention-y, and then they're super cute. So I like those, if you're interested, I will put the link for them down below. Okay. This is, this is it my friends, this is it. Okay, so here's my outfit for today. I have my red turtleneck from Fabletics. I have a cozy sweater from Macy's, I believe, and then my suede jacket with just some jeans and boots. So thank you for coming and getting ready with me this morning. If you liked the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.